हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक मॉडर्न कंसेप्ट ऑफ टिलेज इन विच वी विल कवर मिनिमम टिलेज जीरो टिलेज कंजर्वेशन टिलेज एट्सेट्रा बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन लिटिल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट माई सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विथ स्पेशलाइज इन एग्नॉमी फ्रॉम जे पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत इन नाइनटीन एंड प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग एज ए सीड प्रोफेशनल इन सीड इंडस्ट्री एंड एसोसिएटेड विथ वन ऑफ द एम सो लेट्स मूव टू द प्रेजेंटेशन इन कन्वेंशनल टिलेज कम्बाइंड प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी टिलेज ऑपरेशन आर परफॉर्म इन प्रिपेयरिंग सीड बेड बाई यूजिंग एनिमल्स और ट्रैक्टर्स विच काज हार्ड पैन इन सब सॉइल्स रिजल्टिंग इन पुअर इनफिल्ट्रेशन ऑफ वाटर द सीट इज मोर सेबल टू रन ऑफ एंड सोइल इरोजन फार्मर्स यूजली प्रिपेयर फाइन सीड बेड बाई रिपीटेड प्लॉइंग वेन द एनिमल्स ऑफ द फार्म इज हैविंग लेस वर्क रिसर्च है सोन दैट फ्रिक्वेंट टिलेज इज रेयरली बेनिफिशियल एंड ऑफन डेट्रीमेंटल Repeated use of heavy machinery destroys soil structure, causes soil pains, and leads to soil erosion. Moreover, energy is often wasted during tillage process. All these reasons lead to development of modern concepts, namely the practices like minimum tillage, zero tillage, stable mulch farming, and conservation tillage, etc. Now we will discuss about minimum tillage. Minimum tillage is aimed at reducing tillage to the minimum. necessary for ensuring a good seed bed rapid germination a satisfactory stand and favorable growing conditions tillage can be reduced in two ways first by omitting operations which do not give much benefit when compared to the cost and second by combining agriculture operations like seeding and fertilizer application together advantages of minimum tillage especially in coarse and medium textured soils First, improved soil conditions due to decomposition of plant residue in situ. Second, the cost and time for field preparation is reduced by reducing the number of field operations. Third, higher infiltration caused by the vegetation present on the soil and channels formed by the decomposition of dead roots. Fourth, less resistance to root growth due to improved structure. And fifth, less soil compaction by the reduced movement of heavy tillage vehicles. and sixth less soil erosion compared to conventional tillage and seventh water storage in the plow layer is increased disadvantages of minimum tillage first seed germination is lower with minimum tillage second more nitrogen has to be added as the rate of decomposition of organic matter is slow this point holds good only in temperate regions contrary to this in tropics minimum tillage recommended to conserve organic matter in the soil third nodulation is affected in some leguminous crops like peas and broad beans fourth sowing operations are difficult with ordinary equipment and fifth continuous use of herbicide causes pollution problems and dominance of perennial problematic weeds the minimum tillage can be grouped in following three categories first one row zone tillage primary tillage is done with mold wood plow in the entire area of the field secondary tillage operations like dressing and rowing are reduced and done only in row zone second plow plant tillage after the primary tillage a special planter is used for sowing in one run over the field the row zone is pulverized and seeds are sown by the planter third wheel track tillage primary plowing is done as usual tractor is used for sowing the wheels of the tractor pulverize the row zone in which planting is done in all the system primary tillage is essential however secondary tillage is replaced by direct sowing in which sown seed is covered in the row zone with the equipment used for sowing second type of modern tillage is zero tillage or no tillage zero tillage is an extreme form of a minimum tillage primary tillage is completely avoided and secondary tillage is restricted to seed bed preparation in the row zone only it is also known as no tillage and is resorted to places where soils are subjected to wind and water erosion timing of tillage operations is too difficult and requirement of energy and labor for tillage are also too high in zero tillage weeds are controlled by using herbicides in this new crop is planted in the residues of previous crop without any prior soil tillage or seed bed preparation and it is possible when all weeds are controlled by the use of herbicides hence it is also referred as chemical tillage zero tillage is applicable for soils with a coarse textured surface horizon 
गुड इंटरनल ड्रेनेज हाई बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटी ऑफ सॉइल फाउना फेवरेबल इनिशियल सॉइल स्ट्रक्चर एंड एन एडिकुएट क्वान्टिटी ऑफ क्रॉप रेजिड्यू एज मल्च दिज कंडीशंस आर जनरली फाउंड इन अल्फी सॉल्स ऑक्सी सॉल्स एंड अल्टी सॉल्स इन द ह्यूमिड एंड सब ह्यूमिड ट्रॉपिक्स देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ जीरो टिलेज फर्स्ट इज टिल प्लांटिंग टिल प्लांटिंग इज वन ऑफ मैथड ऑफ प्रैक्टिसाइजिंग जीरो टिलेज ए वाइड स्वीप एंड ट्रेस बार क्लियर से स्ट्रीप ओवर द प्रीवियस क्रॉप रो एंड प्लांटर ओपन से नेरो स्ट्रीप इन टू विच सीड्स आर प्लांटेड एंड कवर्ड हेयर हर्बी साइड फंक्शंस आर एक्सटेंडेड Before sowing, the vegetation present has to be destroyed, for which broad spectrum non-selective herbicides with relatively short residual effect like glyphosates, paraquat, and diquats are used. Subsequently, selective and persistent herbicides are also needed like atrazine and alachlor. Second zero tillage is sod planting or sod culture. Sod refers to the top few centimeters of soil. permeated by and held together with grass roots or grass legume roots planting of seeds in sods without any tillage operations is known as sod culture or sod seeding usually legumes or small grains are mechanically placed directly into a sod now advantages of zero tillage zero tilled soils are homogeneous in structure with more number of earthworms this soil physical properties are apparent after 2 years of zero tillage organic matter content increases due to less mineralization and surface runoff is reduced due to presence of mulch and there are some disadvantages also higher amount of nitrogen has to be applied for mineralization of organic matter in zero tillage and perennial weeds may be a problem and high number of volunteer plants and build up of pests third type of modern tillage is a stable mulch tillage or a stable mulch farming in which soil is protected at all times either by growing a crop or by leaving the crop residue on the surface during fallow periods sweeps or blades are generally used to cut the soil up to the 12 to 15 cm depth in the first operation after harvest and depth of cut is reduced during subsequent operations when usually large amount of residue are present a disc type implement is used for first operation to incorporate some of the residue into the soil this hastens the decomposition but still keeps enough residue on top soil there are two methods for sowing crops in stable mulch tillage first is similar to zero tillage a wide sweep and tress bars are used to clear a strip and a narrow planter so opens a narrow furrow into which seeds are placed second a narrow chisel of 5 to 10 cm width is worked through the soil at a depth of 15 to 30 cm leaving all plant residue on the surface the chisel setters the tillage pans and surface crust planting is done with a special planter what are the disadvantages of stable mulch farming first the residue left on the surface interfere with seed bed preparation and sowing operations and second the traditional tillage and sowing implements or equipments are not suitable under these conditions fourth type of modern tillage is conservation tillage the major objective is to conserve soil and soil moisture it is a system of tillage in which organic residue are not inverted into the soil such that they remain on surface as protective cover against erosion and evaporation losses of soil moisture in case of conservation tillage if a stable forms the protective cover on the soil surface it is usually referred to as a stable mulch tillage the residue left on the soil surface interfere with seed bed preparation and sowing operations it is a year round system of managing plant residue with implements that undercut residue losses the soil and kills the weeds though it is similar to that of a stable mulch tillage it is done to conserve soil and water by reducing their losses advantages of conservation tillage first energy conservation through reduced tillage operations second improve the soil physical properties and third reduce the water runoff from fields Modern tillage methods are practiced in western countries especially in USA in India it is not suitable due to several reasons in USA astra and stubbles are left over in the field but in India it is a valuable fodder for the cattle and fuel for the home use of heavy machinery in India is limited 
and therefore problem of soil compaction is rare. The type of minimum tillage that can be practiced in India is to reduce the number of plowings to the minimum necessary and unnecessary repeated plowings and harrowing can be avoided. This was all about modern concept of tillage. My presentation ends here. Thank you very much. See you again shortly. I have given here my YouTube channel details, Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request, please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements. Thank you.